Hi, Courtney and Courtney here, and welcome to the Dodgeball Game Show. The game show where contestants answer trivia questions about the University of Utah. But there's a twist. If they answer the question wrong, then a surprise will be thrown their way. Now, let's take a look at the contestants. Oh, hi! <laughs> I'm in a contest and um, I think I'm supposed to sing. Uh, go Utes! <laughs> I'm not really sure why I'm here, but I'm gonna win. Not sure what the game's about, but no one has a chance against me. They're going down, you know all the answers. I'm a student here at the university and I was told there's a contest. Not sure what the context of the contest is, but I'm going to win. Everyone else is an idiot. Uh, I'm here, I'm trying to get out of here. Been here too long, I've got kids at home. I hire you fam, all day, every day. That's how I do it. I'm excited to win this game show because I know everything about the U. I'm definitely confident that I'm going to beat these guys. Okay, your question is, who is the first elected chancellor of the university? Orson Spencer. True or false, the university spent more than 20000 in the 1800s trying to implement spelling reform of the English language by introducing the Deseret Alphabet. True! Though the University of Utah is a well-equipped campus, it does not have everything. What does it not have? The correct answer was ski slope. Which infamous serial killer attended the University of Utah? Next question. Wrong! The correct answer would be Ted Bundy. <laughs> okay, true or false, the University of Utah was the first founded state university west of the Mississippi River. Uh, this is something my son would know. I'm going to say false. <laughs> the name Marriott is associated with which building on campus? The library. That is correct. Yes. Who is the only president of the University of Utah to have served twice? Congratulations to our contestant, Tiffany! You have won $100 to the University of Utah Red Zone, brought to you by America First Credit Union. Now, we'd like to thank everyone for tuning in today. And, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs>